Hello everybody, so I thought I would show you the latest install we've done in a self-build van because it's got a few little tricks in it that we haven't done before or we don't do that often should I say let me spin you around and uh, yes this is a self-build van it's still full of insulation but on this wall is what we have done now the system is a 24 volt system and there are two batteries down here there's a, there's a Roma battery down here 200 amp hour Roma 24, bat 24 amp hour battery here and there's a 200 amp hour 24 volt self-built battery here the batteries have very different purposes the Roma battery is the battery for the ledger system and the secondary battery is going to be charging e-bikes in the back in the garage underneath the bed so let me run you through what all the parts are here so we've got the main isolation switch and the battery monitor the shunt We've got the Lynx power in which has been modified to hold fuses so it's a positive and negative bus bar with a spot for all the fuses that you need as well. Here we've got one Orion, we've actually got four Orions in here. This Orion is a 12 to 24, a 12 volt to 24 volt so it will take 12 volts from your starter battery and it will charge 24 volt batteries at 15 amps. So when the engine's on that one comes on. This second Orion is to charge this secondary battery. Now this Orion only gets triggered and turns on when the first battery gets fully charged. We do that by using the servo relay. What relay number one in the servo tells this Orion using this cable here when to come on and off. So we set it to come on at 100%. So Roma battery underneath there gets fully charged and then that Orion comes on and starts charging this battery off of the first battery. I think that's quite clever. But then he wants to charge e-bikes off of this secondary battery here. So he needs an inverter. Now we do have an inverter already up here, but that, that is for the leisure side. Everything in here they want to run. Induction cooking or um, air fries, microwave, that kind of thing. So that's for the leisure system, but to charge the e-bikes, We've got a secondary Victron Multi Plus inverter here. So that inverter he can switch on and plug in his e-bike charge into when he wants to charge his e-bikes. Both of these inverters will also charge both batteries on mains. So you plug in the power, shore, shore power on the outside of your van. Both of them Multi Pluses will charge a battery each. What else have we got here? We've got an MPPT. Down here the 120, I mentioned the servo already. The screen is there, it needs, needs to find a home for it. We've got a battery protect so that you can log in with the Victron app and turn on and off two 12 volt fuse boxes. 12 volt, you're right, I said 12 volt. We're using two 24 to 12 uh, Orion converters. So these take 24 volts and turn it into 12 volt. So we've got power to our two 12 volt fuse boxes. Sounds confusing, huh? But yeah, that, that's how they take power from 24 volt batteries and distribute it to these fuse boxes, but as 12 volts. We've got a few breakers here. We've got a solar breaker. I think that's for... So yeah, that's your solar panel breaker, so you can switch off all the power coming from the solar panels. This is all your 240... These are all your 240 breakers for this big inverter, and there are some breakers down there for that inverter as well couple of bus bars, another way of isolating this battery with a fuse and a switch. So I spoke very fast over all that. You slow it down a bit. We've also got a Ruvi here. This is called a Ruvi. This is a Bluetooth sensor. It can communicate with the servo and using the temperature on there, you can program the servo to turn on fans. We've got a fan on this Orion up here. I'll show you that in a sec. Relay 2 on the servo turns on when this gets to a certain temperature, whatever temperature you set it at. And then it turns on fans. We've got a fan, big 120 mil fan, which comes on when this Orion gets warm or when that temperature sensor gets warm. So yeah, quite a unique system, a few little tricks. I like the tricks, I like the tricks. So it was quite fun figuring it out. Still some testing to be done. Once the customer's got all his 240 sockets in there, we can really test it out by draining the batteries and seeing how the charge works. This is currently on right now. Currently we're charging 
battery B from battery A until the battery A gets down below 90%, then it will turn that Orion off and it will stop draining the battery. But yeah, quite a unique little system. If you need any electrical work done in your vans, want to upgrade your motorhome electrics or your camper van electrics, be more off grid to be able to disappear into the, into the mountains of the wilderness, just, just get out there without having to worry about campsites, plugging in, hooking up. Let us know. Contact at bluefix.co.uk. We do, we do this every day of the week. We have three or four vans in a week. So we've done plenty of them. We make them look amazing. Pieces of Victron art. Give us a call. Give us a message. We'll see you soon.